hello guys welcome back to my channel i am mangesh and in this video we will cover ls command ls command used to check what are the files and directory present in your current directory or any other directory so currently uh, i am available in this directory mangesh under home under mangesh i am present and ls command will tell me how many files and directory present in this current directory so till now uh, we were saying that blue means these are the directory and apart from blue everything is a files uh, we, we have a green color here because I have given some executive permissions to this file and these are the normal text files which are in uh, white color and this is what the linking file reason it is coming in another color so uh, ls will tell you how many files and directory present in your current directory and in some uh, operating system you can see everything in white that time you need to use that second command ls minus color so it will come in the color output but unix by default it is giving the color output uh, i have one more terminal this is a segwin in segwin i can show you ls command everything i'm getting in a white or i can use ls minus lrt everything is coming in the white black and white only combination over here but i want to see the output in the color that time i will use this color option so you can see the color is highlighted for the some files and directories so these are the directories so go to the pdf ls we will see what is a ls minus a uh, first of all they have given ls minus a uh, it will show you a list of the hidden files uh, let's see uh, what are the hidden files and how to find out the hidden files in unix this option you can use to find out the hidden files so i am executing ls command and i am executing ls minus a command so ls minus a command will filter out all those files okay from your current directory it will come with the hidden also and non hidden as well then how you will identify which are the hidden files so hidden files are those which name start with the dot or directory directory name start with dot or files name start with the dot these are the hidden files in unix so yes um, let me create one more hidden file how you will create hidden files in unix obviously we will use touch command but after touch your file name start with the dot okay um, i am giving hidden dot txt file name i am given hidden dot txt but file is created after ls i cannot see hidden dot txt here so i need to use ls minus a command so hidden dot txt hidden dot txt check it where it is it's here so what hyphen a is doing it will filter out all those files from your current directory it uh, the file name start with dot these are the hidden files so your hidden files are also coming and non hidden files are also coming now uh, if someone is uh, trying to ask you how you will filter out only hidden files so very easy uh, tell them that uh, what i will use is dot and uh, put star here see it is coming everything and uh, there is one syntax it will only filter out the hidden files only um, I will share you uh, after this uh, video. Let me focus on all the points and later I'll tell you how to filter out only hidden files with the help of ls command. Okay, so uh, that is questions. I will cover the end of this video. So ls minus color we have already seen uh, on our Sigwin portal because Sigwin everything is coming in the black and white combination. ls, but if you put ls minus color, then color is highlighting. So few flavors doesn't have that color combination by default. Only Linux has it. So that time you can use ls minus color also. Uh, ls minus d it will list only directories. Okay, in your current directory, if you want to filter out only directories, then this is what the option. So uh, if I want to, I want only directories and all directories. So this is what the way. Under your current direct uh, directory, you have only these two. Where you are pwd. I mean home and mangesh folder. Next, uh, ls minus capital F. It will show you file types. So, what is a file type? File type uh, they have given star means executive files, slash means directory, and linking files with the head of at the rate you can easily identify this is what the linking files. So, let me execute ls minus capital F. Yes, look at here. This star means this file has executive permissions. Here you can see at the rate, it means it's a linking files. Now in our upcoming video, we will learn how to give the executive permissions to files, how to create these linking files. 
uh, directory we already covered with the help of mkdir we can create a directories so slash means these are the directories and hyphen f will tell you the type of the files whether it is executive files whether it is directory or whether it is linking files i'll go to the next option next option we have a i node number uh, ls minus i uh, with the help of that you can see the inode number of the files and directories so yes what is inode number actually inode is a unique number assigned by unix administrator to each files and directory for the identification purpose only and it is not in our hand to allocate any uh, number to files and directory it's actually unix operating system doing it by default whenever you are going to create any files and directory automatically one unique number assigns to your files and to see what is a number for, for your files and directory the ls minus i command will come in the picture so let me show you one more file i'm creating here or mkdr i'm creating one directory and uh, name of that directory is um, i'm putting rita rita so see ls minus i and i want to see only my uh, directory name is rita and i want to see only for that uh, directory is what is the inode number is assigned so uh, let's see I don't know why it is not coming. LS data is present. It's here. LS minus I. Uh, it will show me all things. C. Okay. Uh, and I was not able to get it because it's a directory. So I need to use D also. And then now you can see this is what you are directory name this is what your i need i don't number so d option i was missing so reason i was not able to get that uh, output with the help of this with the help of this only you can get the file like uh, i want to know what is the i don't number of this file so ls minus i i can give file name like this so see this is your file name and this is your i node number after i node number we will move to the next uh, they have given ls minus l so ls minus l is a very important command which we daily basis use in the production and after this uh, actually with the help of this you need to identify which are the files and directory so this is column one this is column two column three column four and column five comes with date and time five six seven eight and uh, this is what the uh, file names at the last so it is a long list coming with the help of this and here you can see the file name at the last okay so uh, in my next video, I will prepare one more video to explain you what is this column one, what is this column two, column three, this is size, so that everything I will cover in the next video. First of all, I will see all the options which are coming in the ls command. Uh, it's not possible to take all, but maximum I'm trying to cover, which is available in my PDF. Uh, ls minus la, it will list all the files, uh, including hidden. See, hidden files are also coming file name start with dot these are the hidden files directory name start with the dot these are the hidden directories okay and uh, yes uh, uh, i forgot to tell you how to filter out those uh, files I, I i only want hidden files in my output so that syntax i will share you very soon but uh, before that let me cover these are the very important and very easily you can understand ls minus lh so ls minus lh this uh, this is what the size it shows in uh, file size shows in the uh, bytes actually with the help of this edge option okay and uh, by default unix is uh, uh, showing size in uh, blocks the way we have a gigabytes megabytes in uh, windows here we have a by default size comes with the blocks and if you want to see in the bytes then this edge option will come in the picture see and these are the empty one that's the reason uh, you all so you can see 512 is a directory size but under that if you have files then their size is different these are the empty files that's the reason you can see 000 okay next uh, they have given some okay long list format with readable file size yeah uh, ls minus ls obviously uh, list the files and uh, long list file size will come in the picture it will the file size which is the highest it will come down and which is the lowest it is coming up okay but this is very important ls minus r it will sort the files in reverse order like this ls it is an ascending order a to z but if you do ls minus r it will come in the sorting like it's a descending order reverse order in ls hyphen l it's a long list 
coming by default in ascending order. But if you put ls minus lr, it is coming in the reverse order sorting. Look at this. Reverse order sorting is done. But in industry, this t will come in the picture. T is very important actually. Uh, ls minus l uh, t, or I can put t. It is sorting the files with the last modification time. The file which is uh, modify recently, it will come uh at the last see what we are doing in the production we are using this command ls minus lrt so at the last this data you have created that's the reason uh it's come uh it's a reverse order sorting has been done and latest files comes here so let me create one more uh, touch uh i'm giving one file name is yyy.txt it's a recent files ls minus l long list reverse order last modification time wise so you can see at the last your file is available and date you can compare your date with this yes it is your latest file so usually we are using this command in production to filter out the files and everything and ls is very important because you can easily see what are the files are available in this let, let me see how many files are present in home directory like this i can easily get ls minus under home we have a mongage folder also we have abc directory also see what are the files are present in there so this is what the files present in this abc directory okay i want long list in the abc so tilt i can use for my home directory uh, this is a shortcut actually and under abc these are the files are present so ls is very important command and from your current directory also you can easily find out what are the files present in another directory you need to mention that entire path here okay put correct path so next uh, uh, they have given some ls minus hyphen s uh, sort by size ls minus capital s it will sort the files in size wise but ls minus lr okay lrt capital s i can wait this is what the sorting has been done okay uh, so just a second my uh, let me pause this video for two seconds i will resume back you hey guys are back again and the uh, question is how to check hidden files only because ls minus a it was showing all the files ls minus lrpa also uh, it was showing all files including hidden files but i wanted to find out only hidden files in directory so for that we have uh, one syntax actually this syntax you can use uh, obviously i'm going to make one more video for a grip command uh, in our video session so it will only filter out hidden files from your current directory See, these are the hidden files and directory uh, present in your current directory and your current directory is this. So here we have done with the ls command and there are some options which uh, you can use. But in your production actually, uh, ls, uh, you can use ll is also shortcut key. Uh, ll through ll, it will also filter out all those files. It has a similar output of ls minus l. Okay, so ll comes with the hidden files also. ls minus lrt. Uh, mostly getting used L for long list, R for reverse order, T for last modification time, A for time wise. You can use I also for I node number. See the output. I node number is here. And uh, in next video, what I'm going to cover is what is this first column? What is the second column? This, this. So please uh, try similar practice on your desktop to get a hands on on this command. And yes, I'm creating one more video to cover up this entire thing. So see you soon in that video. Thanks for watching this.